Ren Alcantara, editor at large at Gadgets Magazine. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We're here to deliver the most relevant topics in tech, lifestyle, and motoring, so you can stay up to date with the latest news all in one place. First off, we take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, Globe is committed to making 5G technology accessible to more areas in Metro Manila and nearby locations. As part of this mission, Globe is delighted to announce the addition of new 5G locations in strategic areas in the following cities. In Quezon City, Commonwealth Avenue, Tandang Sora Road, Mindanao Avenue, and Luzon Avenue. In Manila, Abad Santos Avenue, Rizal Avenue, Honorio Lopez Boulevard. In Marikina, Sumulong Highway, Bagong Silang. In Caloocan, Quirino Highway, C3 Road, Congressional Road Extension. In Valenzuela, the Pan-Philippine Highway, Tamarao Hill Road. In Mandaluyong, Shaw Boulevard, and Bonnie Avenue. In Pasig, C. Raimundo Avenue, and the Medical City Bus Stop. In Las Piñas, Alabang Zapote Road, and Marcos Alvarez Avenue. In Makati, Pasong Tamo, J.P. Rizal, and strategic areas in Magallanes Village. In Taguig, Lawton Avenue, Philippine Army, McKinley Road, and Forbes Park. In Paranaque, East Service Road, Doña Soledad Avenue, Dr. A. Santos Avenue. And in strategic areas along SLEX and NLEX. Globe's 5G network coverage expansion is a huge milestone, expanding from the central business districts of Bonifacio Global City, Makati, Rockwell Center, and Ortigas, as well as in strategic areas along EDSA and C5, to now even more areas. This milestone also comes shortly after the announcement of the availability of mobile 5G to its Globe prepaid NTM customers who have 5G devices and are within 5G areas. Realme Philippines aims to fuel the mobile adventures of young Filipinos by launching a mid-range gaming champ. Packing the world's first MediaTek Helio G95 processor, the Realme 7 is one of the most powerful smartphones for gaming and entertainment at its price point. The MediaTek Helio G95 with MediaTek Hyper Engine gaming technology gives users a fast and smooth experience across various game titles. The device's large capacity 5000 mAh battery and 30 watt dart charge also help lower smartphone downtime, making it perfect for ranking game marathons and multiplayer tourneys. Its 6.5 inch 90 Hz ultra smooth display with a 90 Hz refresh rate ushers in an immersive and seamless virtual experience. The mid range app also features a quad camera system composed of a 64 megapixel second gen Sony IMX682 primary sensor an 8-megapixel ultra-wide-angle shooter, a 2-megapixel monochrome sensor, and a 2-megapixel depth sensor. In front, the Realme 7 has a 16-megapixel selfie camera sensor. The Realme 7, like the Realme 7 Pro, is among the first smartphones in the world to receive a TUV Rhineland smartphone reliability verification after successfully passing 22 major tests of 12 daily use scenarios, 4 component reliability, and 6 extreme environments and 38 minor tests. The Realme 7 series will be launched via live stream on the Realme Philippines official Facebook page and YouTube channel at noon tomorrow. AOC continues to be the most sought-after PC monitor brand in the Philippines. According to the International Data Corporation, or IDC, the world's premier global marketing intelligence firm, AOC ranked number one in the PC monitor market in terms of unit shipments in the Philippines for the second quarter of 2020. This strong performance in the market is evidence for the brand's quality that AOC has long been known for. AOC monitors have achieved the distinction multiple times in the past, which shows how AOC monitors are of high quality and can stand the test of time. Their innovative technology that they introduce to their new models continuously addresses the needs and wants of consumers, allowing it to maintain its high performance in terms of sales. That's it for Tech News. Now, let's take a pit stop and see what's going on in the world of mobility. Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, or HARI, the official distributor of Hyundai trucks and buses in the country, received from the Department of Transportation the Certificate of Compliance, or COC, for its HD50S Class 3 modern jeepney, marking another milestone in the company's staunch support for public transport modernization. With COCs already given to the Hyundai H100 Class 1 and the Hyundai HD 50S Class 2 last year, this latest certification gives Harry the distinction of being the first and only brand with a full lineup of modern jeepneys that meet Philippine national standards. 
the Hyundai HD 50S Class 3 modern jeepney, which first debuted in February this year, is powered by a 2.9 Euro 4 compliant CRDI engine that provides better fuel efficiency, reliability, and cleaner emissions. It is designed for enhanced stability and power to weight ratio, boasting a 3,415 mm wheelbase. The vehicle also features roof mounted air conditioning, AFCS, Wi Fi, GPS tracking, CCTV cameras, a 7 inch monitor, and a speed limiter. It can accommodate 22 seated passengers as well as up to 10 standing commuters. Since their launch last year, Harry has been receiving numerous orders for the modern GP shuttles, not just from the country's major transport groups, but also from private companies and LGUs. That's it for Pit Stop. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the lifestyle world. In lifestyle news, Cashless is now replacing the cash in COD when it comes to delivery of food and goods online, as Filipinos are now opting for a better and safer way to pay. With cashless on delivery gaining more popularity among consumers, PayMaya is helping ensure that customers can order from more merchants and service providers offering delivery of meals and other essentials nationwide. By simply scanning the QR code or paying using cards through the PayMaya One device carried by delivery riders, customers can be assured of completely contact-free delivery whenever they order online. This also helps ensure that delivery personnel are safe and protected from unnecessary contact as they go around the city for work. Apart from the safety and convenience, paying cashless on delivery can be rewarding as well. PayMaya users who scan to pay using PayMaya QR can get up to 100% cash back for a minimum purchase of 500 pesos in their chosen merchants for an even better delivery experience. PayMaya is continuously adding more merchants to its growing list of partners who are offering this new and better way to pay for deliveries. The service is the only end-to-end -end digital payments ecosystem enabler in the Philippines with platforms and services that cut across consumers, merchants, and government. In other lifestyle news, Blackpink released a pre-tease to an upcoming enhanced album on Spotify, Blackpink Presents The Album. Designed for loyal blinks and new fans alike, the enhanced album launches with an exclusive never-before-seen playlist curated by the four members of the girl group as well as personalized introduction videos from Blackpink. The unique enhanced album on Spotify comes in celebration and anticipation of the group's upcoming studio album, The Album, debuting next Friday, October the 2nd. The four-member curated playlist offers fans an exclusive look into the group's personal music preferences and the songs they were listening to while working on their upcoming album. The list offers a wide array of music that is favored by the group. As the album release approaches on the 2nd of October, Blinks can look forward to more exciting content rolling out on Blackpink Presents The Album on Spotify. And that's it for today's installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your regular rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website. And see you next time.